Pakistan Army conducted a training launch of the 750 km range Fatah 4 cruise missile and claimed that it features terrain hugging and high precision strike capability. The Indian Navy has signed a 47 crore rupees contract with Kochi based startup Irof to procure Trout Series advanced underwater remotely operated vehicle. Indian Navy's INS Imphal destroyer and US Navy destroyer USS Gridley conducted PASIX exercise in Arabian Sea to boost interoperability. General Electric has delivered the fourth F404 engine to Hindustan Aeronautics for Tejas Mark 1A program. Samsung Heavy Industries have signed a partnership agreement with Swan Defense and Heavy Industries to collaborate in shipbuilding and offshore engineering in India. The Border Security Force has launched a new AI and geographic information system enabled command and control center named the Decision Support System. The Ministry of Defense is in the final stages of issuing a tender for the long delayed 80 medium transport aircraft program for the Indian Air Force. Mazagin Dock shipbuilders will design and produce indigenous submarine shafting and propeller systems by 2026, supporting current fleets and future projects like Project 76 and Project 77. Chennai based defense startup Big Bang Boom Solutions has secured a landmark deal with the Indian Navy to develop a multi spectral camouflage cloak, which will be a roll on roll off system that will shield frontline air and land assets from radar and thermal detection. Big Bang Boom Solutions has one of $5 million India Israel project to co-develop rugged autonomous drones capable of operating in GPS denied environments, such as underground facilities and contested zones. Dassault Aviation will set up a full Rafil fighter jet assembly line at Dassault Reliance Aerospace Limited making it the first facility outside France to build two Rafale aircraft per month, not only for the Indian Air Force, but also for export customers such as Indonesia. Sweden's Saab Group has announced plans to manufacture its newly unveiled 5 km range Nimbrix counter unmanned aircraft missile at its Saab India plant in Haryana. The Indian Army has cleared the development of the RDO's land-based Gatling auto cannon system for ground forces, providing a last-line defense against drones loitering munitions and low-flying missiles. The Deputy Chief of Air Staff Air Marshal A.K. Bharti has confirmed the ongoing developmental work on the stealth high-altitude long-endurance UAV by Hindustan Aeronautics and Aeronautical Development Establishment, and major updates on the project are expected soon. India and Russia are integrating elements from DRDO's hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle into a dual-mode ramjet scramjet engine, boosting the BrahMos missile's speed from current Mach 3 to Mach 4.5, while retaining its 450 km and 800 km ranges. Ground trials of the enhanced engine is expected within two years, with operational induction of the BrahMos X variant is targeted for the early 2030. In a major development, seven of India's biggest defense companies including Hindustan Aeronautics Larsen and Tubro Tato Advanced Systems Limited, Adani Defense Kalyani Strategic Systems and two other private sector players have submitted bids to join the AMCA program, and the bids will now be scrutinized by a high-powered panel headed by a former DRDO scientist. The first flight is expected by 2028 and the selected development partner must deliver a fully capable final AMCA prototype by 2032, and serial production will start by 2035. The DRDO is developing a specialized mountain radar system tailored for the Himalayan terrain to detect stealth fighters. The specialized mountain radar will bolster India's early warning network, and feed real-time data into the Indian Air Force's Integrated Air Command and Control System, enhancing the effectiveness of S-400 and Akash NGR defenses. The phased plan includes 20 units by 2028, and 50-plus units by 2030, creating overlapping coverage against saturation strikes. Today's Top 3 Comments